The Karate Kid is a 1984 American martial arts drama film written by Robert Mark Kamen and directed by John G. Avildsen. It is the first installment in the Karate Kid franchise, and stars Ralph Macchio, Pat Morita, Elizabeth Shue, and William Zabka. The Karate Kid follows Daniel LaRusso, a teenager taught karate by Mr. Miyagi to help defend himself and compete in a tournament against his bullies, one of whom is Johnny Lawrence, the ex-boyfriend of his love interest Ali Mills. Cayman was approached by Columbia Pictures to compose a film similar to Aviltson's previous success Rocky, after signing the director. Cayman drew inspiration from his own life when writing the film. As a result, he maintained strong opinions regarding cast, and petitioned heavily for Morita's inclusion. Preparations for the film began immediately after the final edit of the script was complete, and casting took place between April and June 1983. Principal photography began on October 31, 1983, in Los Angeles, and completed by December 16. The film was Macchio's second major film role following The Outsiders. The Karate Kid was theatrically released in the United States on June 22, 1984. The film received mostly positive reviews from critics, many of whom praised the action sequences, writing, themes, performances, and music. The film was also a commercial success, grossing over $130 million worldwide making it one of the highest-grossing films of 1984 and Hollywood's biggest sleeper hit of the year. The film revitalized the acting career of Morita, who was previously known mostly for comedic roles, and earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. The film subsequently launched a media franchise and is credited for popularizing karate in the United States. Early Life Morita was born on June 28, 1932, in Isleton, California to Japanese immigrant parents. Morita's father Tamaru, born in 1897, immigrated to California from Kumamoto Prefecture on the Japanese island of Kyushu in 1915. Tamaru's wife, Momo, born in 1903, immigrated to California in 1913. Noriyuki, as Pat was named, had a brother named Hideo who was 12 years older. Morita developed spinal tuberculosis at the age of two and spent the bulk of the next nine years in the Weimar Institute in Weimar, California, and later at the Shriners Hospital in San Francisco. For long periods, he was wrapped in a full body cast, and he was told that he would never walk. During his time at a sanatorium near Sacramento, Morita befriended a visiting priest who would often joke that, if Morita ever converted to Catholicism, the priest would rename him to Patrick Aloysius Ignatius Xavier Noriyuki Morita. Released from the hospital at age 11 after undergoing extensive spinal surgery and learning how to walk, Morita was transported from the hospital directly to the Gila River camp in Arizona to join his interned family. After about a year and a half, he was transferred to the Thule Lake War Relocation Center. After World War II ended, Morita moved back to the Bay Area and he graduated from Armijo High School in Fairfield, California, in 1949. For a time after the war, the family operated Ariaki Chop Suey, a restaurant in Sacramento, California, jokingly described by Morita years later as a Japanese family running a Chinese restaurant in a black neighborhood with a clientele of blacks, Filipinos, and everybody else who didn't fit in any of the other neighborhoods. Morita would entertain customers with jokes and serve as master of ceremonies for group dinners. After Morita's father was killed in 1956 in a hit-and-run while walking home from an all-night movie, Morita and his mother kept the restaurant going for another three or four years. Needing a regular job to support his wife and a newly born child, Morita became a data processor in the early 1960s with the Department of Motor Vehicles and other state agencies, graduating to a graveyard shift job at Aerojet General. In due time, he was a department head at another aerospace firm, Lockheed, 
handling the liaison between the engineers and the programmers who were mapping out lunar eclipses for Polaris and Titan missile projects. However, Morita suffered from occupational burnout and decided to quit his job and try show business. He began working as a stand-up comedian at small clubs in Sacramento and San Francisco, and took the stage name Pat Morita, in part due to the presence of comedians including Pat Henry and Pat Cooper, and in part due to memories of the priest he had befriended as a boy. Morita struggled for many years in comedy, until fellow performer ventriloquist Hank Garcia told him to try his luck in Los Angeles. Sally Mar, Lenny Bruce's mother, acted as his agent and manager after he moved to Los Angeles, and booked him in the San Fernando Valley and at the Horn nightclub in Santa Monica. Morita sometimes worked as the opening act for singers Vic Damone and Connie Stevens and for his mentor, the comedian Red Fox. Morita used the nickname The Hip Nip. Television and Movie Career Early Work Morita's first movie roles were as a henchman in Thoroughly Modern Millie and a similar role in The Shakiest Gun in the West, starring Don Knotts. Morita had other notable recurring television roles on Sanford and Son as Ah Chu, a good-natured friend of Lamont Sanford, and as South Korean Army Captain Sam Pak on the sitcom M.A.S. Asterisk H. He was also cast as Rear Admiral Ryunashuk Kuzaka in the war film Midway. I Happy Days Slash I None I The Karate Kid Slash I Film Series None Television Series Morita was the star of two television series. In 1976, he starred as inventor Taro Takahashi in his own show, Mr. T and Tina the first Asian-American sitcom on network TV. The sitcom was placed on Saturday nights by ABC and was quickly cancelled after a month in the fall of 1976. He also starred in the ABC detective show O'Hara, it was cancelled after two seasons due to poor ratings. Later work Morita went on to play Tommy Tanaka in the Kirk Douglas starring television movie Amos receiving his first Primetime Emmy Award nomination and second Golden Globe Award nomination for the role. He wrote and starred in the World War II romance film Captive Hearts. He hosted the educational home video series Britannica's Tales Around the World. He made an appearance on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in the 1994 season 5 episode Love Hurts. Later in his career he starred on the Nickelodeon television series The Mystery Files of Shelby Wu, and had a recurring role on the sitcom The Hewleys. He also made a guest appearance on a 1996 episode of Married, with Children. He went on to star in the short film Talk to Taka as a sushi chef who doles out advice to anyone who will hear him. He voiced the Emperor of China in Disney's 36th animated feature Mulan and reprised the role in Mulan 2, a direct-to-video sequel and Kingdom Hearts 2. He spoofed his role as Mr. Miyagi in a series of commercials for Colgate Toothpaste. He portrayed the white-clad Wisdom Tooth, hailing Colgate as the wise choice. He had a cameo appearance in the 2001 Alien Ant Farm music video movies. His appearance in the video spoofed his role in The Karate Kid. In 2002, he made a guest appearance on an episode of Spy TV. In 2003, he had a cameo on an episode of Yes, Dear, as an unnamed karate teacher, potentially being Miyagi. He would also reprise his role in the stop-motion animated series Robot Chicken in 2005. Death Morita died of kidney failure, following a urinary tract and gallbladder infection, on November 24, 2005, at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the age of 73. Throughout his life, Morita had battled alcoholism. He was cremated at Palm Green Valley Mortuary and Cemetery in Las Vegas, Nevada. Posthumous Credits Roles created prior to his passing were included in a few posthumous works. He voiced Master Yudin in the 2006 SpongeBob SquarePants season 4 episode Karate Island. 
He had a role in the independent feature film Only the Brave, about the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, where he plays the father of lead actor Lane Nishikawa. He also had roles in Act Your Age, Royal Kill, and Remove All Obstacles. The fifth episode of the 2018 present series Cobra Kai was dedicated to his memory. Mr. Miyagi is frequently referenced via archival footage from the original films during Cobra Kai, having died on November 15, 2011. Filmography